Many of us have a coffee in the morning to kickstart our day, but new research from South Korea suggests that a coffee a day could actually be good for your heart. The study found that people drinking three to five cups a day could reduce the risk of having a heart attack still further. Here with their thoughts is uh, Shane Landon of the Heart Foundation. Great to see you, Shane. Thanks Hi. very much for coming in. Uh, so coffee's good for your heart. Do you agree? Well, it's an interesting study, there's no doubt. Um, it's early days. We don't really understand the mechanism of this particular study in terms of what might be going on. But the researchers themselves have indicated that, um, as you said, uh, Korean men, there were 25,000 men in this study, mm. uh, when they had three to five cups, there was a reduction in the risk of the early stages of uh, build-up inside the arteries. Um, and so obviously that's really interesting uh, to see if that's the case and to obviously get some validation around uh, the mechanisms or the process that might explain this particular finding. Yeah. But three to five coffees a day, that seems quite a lot. It goes against uh, other research and information out there. Certainly we at the Heart Foundation believe in a more moderate message around um, food generally and, and coffee in particular. So I guess it's a case of watch this space on this particular finding, whether it's the caffeine, the coffee itself, mm. um, more work needs to be done and the research has actually indicated that that was required. Um, but we do know that a healthy lifestyle, uh, predominantly plant-based diet, um, healthier oils, uh, being active, not smoking, these are the things that we know work in terms of reducing our risk of heart disease. Yeah, what does caffeine actually do to the heart? Well, uh, caffeine is a stimulant, so it actually acts as a, a stimulant. Um, but what they're interested in in this case is looking at um, the precursors towards build-up in the arteries, looking at calcium levels. Um, when they rise, they can be a, 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 an indicator that there's a starting to get that build-up inside arteries. Mm -hmm. So it's an interesting finding. We just need to sit back and see more research that goes on and obviously um, you know, follow a healthy diet, being active, not smoking. These are the sorts of messages that we want Australians to pick up because every 26 minutes there's someone dies of heart disease in Australia and yeah. that's something that we'd really like to change. And it's still the leading cause. It is still the, the leading country. cause of death in, in the country for men and women so there's uh, still a lot of work to be done in terms of reducing our risks um, and uh, who knows in time maybe coffee, caffeine, if this research is validated mm. um, then perhaps it might have a, um, be part of the message. We do need to keep in mind also that the Korean population is quite different from ours in terms of their diet and lifestyle. So extrapolating from one study, from one population to a country like Australia is always a risky thing to do. And so from our point of view, uh, we'd like to stick with the messages that we have and we will continue to monitor this research yeah. as it's carried out and they really try and understand what is going on in terms of the process. Yeah. And given that caffeine is a stimulant, are there groups of people who should stay away from it anyway? Yeah, some people seem to be very uh, sensitive to caffeine and there's been a lot of talk about uh, some of the um, high caffeine um, uh, products that are out there and, and really from our point of view, moderation is a good thing. I mm. love to have a coffee in the morning, <laughs> but I just have one. Um, yeah. You know, everyone's a little bit different. Some people are very sensitive to caffeine. Uh, from our point of view, um, it's the sort of thing that you need to be moderate about. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and obviously looking to try and you know, adopt a healthier lifestyle uh, to try and just be healthy but also to reduce your risk of heart disease in the, at the same time. And tea has a, a healthier aura about it, if you like, more so than coffee, doesn't it? Which yeah. is strange. Yeah, there's some uh, interesting findings around some of the what they call bioactives, the components of tea uh, that uh, have some health benefits. But in time we may see you know, some of those other products having a, a re really clear role to play in terms of our health um, but you know it does also contain caffeine as well. Mm. Further investigation needed is the Absolutely. message. Shane thanks.